Members of the public seeking services at the Lands Ministry were turned away today following the commencement of an audit that will take 10 days. Lands Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu says no services will be offered until May 19th when the Ministry will complete auditing and digitizing records to enhance efficiency. <laughs> Gilu has told of members of the National Lands Commission and other groups opposed to the audit, saying they have ulterior motives. You also know that we have a constitution that clearly says that a National Land Commission will deal with public land. What I showed you here inside are actually files that belong to private people not government land. So that is what I'm dealing with. If they also were clear on what they need to do, I think there will be no question of who is doing what where. The vice chairperson of the National Lands Commission, Abigail Mukolwe, has however dismissed the exercise, saying proper procedures were not followed. We do not take this lightly. We are feeling our lives are in danger. And we are beginning to ask ourselves, is it because of the work that we've been doing, trying to review grants and dispositions in the last week? The commission, uh, also takes great exception to the CS stopping members of the public from accessing the commission. Like we said yesterday, and in, in our press release yesterday and today, the ministry can lock its offices, they can lock their functions. We do not stop them from doing that, but they are out of order stopping the public from accessing the commission. For Jemima Wangoe, I'm Olive Barrows for Capital TV. It should be stopped until the committee is set and should actually be stopped until the Supreme Court takes a decision on who needs to do what.